everyone and welcome back to Minecraft Sky Factory 2 with me Blue Star. How is everyone doing today? Um, as you can see I've done a little work since we were last seen on screen. You know I went ahead and finished filling in the bottom here the best I could. You know I think there's still a hole out from underneath this dirt right here where I've got to put in the base first. Um, but here's the basics of what I have planned for a garden going in. You know four different sections so we can have four different crops here. I got some sand here, um, that way I can grow cactus and I think it's sugar cane, um, water here in the middle, an infant water source, that way it, you know, stays here and if I ever need water I can stab it, grab it from here and also give me a, some, a place to jump in. Um, you know, got to finish filling in the dirt here. Um, started working on the expansion of the Stone Age section, like I was telling you there, there's the outer rim, you know, same size as this. There's the outer rim going all the way around. I just got to, you know, fill in the gap here. Um, build a diamond chest here off screen, mainly because as I was processing the ores and smelting the ores and then putting them in here, um, I needed a place to store them. I think it's raining again. Wasn't it raining in the beginning of the last, last time we started one? There's our death point, still down there. Unfortunately, it's there for life. Um, so we got our basic tinkers construct here going. Got some lava in here. Speaking of that, how's this guy doing? Is this guy full yet or no? 3795 of 4000. Yep, I got him topped off. Um, got a couple of humongous trees here growing up. Um, I went ahead and, you know, knocked off the leaves as high as I can without climbing. This is what I was talking about, you know, the different sizes of trees. Um, you've seen the small ones a couple times. This is what is normally the meteor ochre. You know, it goes up about five or six blocks high and get, come out with a little branch like that, and it's done. But this is closer to the giant trees. As you can see, it goes way up in there. Uh, branches start stemming out. You start getting pieces way out here. You know, lots and lots to that tree right there. Actually, I've seen them a lot bigger than that. Um... So I figured we'd jump in here and I've thrown some stuff into our crafting gear, grid here. Um, I actually did pull up our one table right here, our tool station I believe it's called, right here. Because I want to build the upgraded version. So for that I need three sear bricks, just like I made for making the Tinker's Construct over there. But just the basic rocks, I need three of those. Then I need iron blocks, has to be the block of irons, and that makes our tool forge. Run over here and put our tool forge down real quick. Oops. There's our tool forge. And I think right here. Well, actually, it's a little bit of both. But anyhow, from the tool station to the tool forge, there's additional uh, equipment you can make here. You know, you can make the hammer, the lumber axe, which the lumber axe is kind of cool. It's a way to take down this whole entire tree down in one fell swoop. So let's look at that real quick. Lumber axe, we're going to need, uh, what is this piece? And the axe head. Uh, what do we have? We need broad axe head. I already have that one made. Um, I need to make the face. A little facey facey. Need still a piece of cobblestone. Cobblestone. Oh, let's just get some real quick. Sorry, I thought I had everything ready, guys, for this. station this one oh, I already made that um, so we need to make that guy right there put you away um, we'll make our we need a tool rod probably just make it out of sticks because I don't have you know a lot of anything else to make what else do we need to make it real quick uh, oh, we need the, ooh, I don't have that one. I need the big cross binding pattern. Uh, 
Okay. So let's make our cross binding. Um, not allowed to make it out of wood? How about flint? See, it lets me make the small one. But not the large one. Stone, obsidian, netherrack, palamion. Oh, stone straight out. Obsidian, netherrack, thermium. Well, boo. Guys, looks like we just... I just put a damper in that plan. Uh, we, uh, we already have the plate here. Might as well go make the, the cast for it. cast right there. Hmm. It's a little depressing. Oh! Uh, where's my seeds? Where's my seeds? Where's my seeds? Um, sugarcane seeds. We've got three of them. One, two, three. If I ever get the cactus seed, I can put them, you know, on one of these rows back here. But that'll start growing. You have a sugar cane, and it will eventually end up with paper. That way, hopefully, we can make our book that we lost. We got any dirt in here? Yep, dirt, dirt. I'm going to put them right here. I'm tired of falling in the hole. Start filling in this side pretty, pretty quick. Um, okay. Well, seems like we can't build our axe, guys. Uh, do the best we can take the tree down. I kind of can't, can't reach all the way up in there yet. So I was hoping to make you know the the, the good axe because literally it'll just rip it down in a heart in a hurry. Press the trail, finish rotting, and come on down on its own. Okay. 
plant, plant those saplings there real quick. And let's keep this for now. Never know when you need a little bit more, you know, resources here. Okay, the next thing I want to build on it is I'm actually getting a little tired of doing some of this stuff manually here. So, one of the first things I want to build is the Ign... if I spelled right, Igneous Extruder here. I uh, don't want to build the hard one. I want the basic, basic, basic. Come on. Basic. So, looks like we need some iron. Real simple to get iron out of a block, just separate like that. We'll get us some iron. We're going to need some glass. Looks like, is that was that a 10 gear? I don't remember. There it is. Yes, it was 10 gear. 10 is just 10 around an iron. That's easy enough. 10, 10, 10, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, Basic machine frame, we need to build a piston. Three pieces of wood. Piece of iron over redstone. Um, if you ever have a problem with any of these recipe guys, all you gotta do is click on it, it tells you real quick. Click in the little question mark like I did, you know, shows you what you're missing. There's filling up stone. That gets us our piston. Next we need a servo, right? That's what this is, right? Yep, servo. Redstone, iron, and glass. So, redstone, iron, glass. There's our servo. Next was copper gears, I believe. I'm going to need another piece of iron, I think, because we need two of them, right? Yes, two copper gears. One, two. Oh, backwards. Copper gears, servo, piston, machine frame, glass. And we have our igneous extruder. Pick up these saplings real quick that dropped from the leaves that are dying up there. Let's put our ignition straight right there. Um, next machine I want to make is the pulver pulverizer. There we go. Machine frame again. So we already saw that once. Let's see. That was simple iron with tin around it to make the gear. That had four pieces of iron like this, and then finish filling it with glass. Makes our basic machine frame. What else do we need? We need copper gears again. It was two of them, right? Yes, two of them. Uh, piece of, uh, what's this? This is a... Redstone reception coil, which is gold and redstone. Okay. Piece of gold. Two pieces of redstone. Another piston. Machine frame, that. These two, and then two pieces of flint. And that gets us our pulverizer. 
Now to power that, we're going to have to have a power source. So we need to make a magnum. Magmatic. It requires hot fluids to run it. Okay. That's the one we're after. Invar. Need two Invar gears, which is just Invar around iron. Okay. Uh, silver ignit around redstone. Uh oh. Oh no, 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 no. Oof. Thought we were thought we were gonna be in trouble there, guys. So so we're gonna need a piece of silver. Ah, that. Then we need okay our invar gears. That's another reason why I like the, the crafting station versus the crafting um, what is it? The crafting station versus the crafting table is the station will actually hold on to your materials you put in it while you're um, uh, have to, you know, do like I just did, you know. Do I have the right pieces? Oh. Up. There's our engine. Now we need to make some energy cells. Lead. Stone. Electrum. I think I remember how to make the electrum. Should be just no. Mm -hmm. Electro bit blend, which comes from pulverized silver and pulverized gold. Well. I got gold ore dust. Can I mix it with silver ore dust? Silver ore. Silver. Gold. Nope. That don't work. Electrum, electrum, electrum. Well, there is one for sure way to get it. Don't, don't. Take that. That's weird. I put ingots in and it looks like the solid blocks or bricks. Be nice if it get if it worked that way, but unfortunately it doesn't. Smelting, smelting. I guess we can go build the other materials while we're waiting on that. Uh, what else were we need? We need to build the frame. Uh oh. I don't know if I have. I don't have the redstone for it, guys. Oh well. We can at least get the basics of it going. There's one more machine I was want to build. I'm trying to remember it. A Q U. No, not that one. That that would be nice to have. Um, there we go. The Adonami Naminus activator. 
gold. Okay. Gold. Redstone. Where'd it go? Thank you. Pin gear. Another piston and a chest. Okay. Chest is easy enough. Tin gear, tin gear. Not bring enough tin. That should be done smelting. Yep, electrum. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Oh, that was in there. Should be. There's our electrum. Electrum guys, as you can see, I had to smelt it to get it, but we got it. Um, ten. There's our ten gears. Need to build a. Really, one short. A piston, chest on top, power cell on the bottom, 10 gears, oh 10 gears go in the middle. There we go. Lots of little cool gadgets. Okay, next thing I need is duck. Duck, 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 duck. Fluid duck. Copper around lead. Use this. Fluid duck. And I want to say. Oh, that's hardened. Uh, da -da -da -dum, da -dum -dum -dum. Item. There we go. Ten. I guess it's ten. Yay. Reason why, and I'll move a lot of these real quick. Oh, I didn't bring them with me. Put this stuff out of my inventory. Thank you. is by simply taking our igneous extruder right here. This is only going to be temporary. I'll end up moving this guy later. As you can see, the igneous extruder has the capability of making cobblestone, stone, or obsidian. You can make any of the three based on what you set him to do. Um, but, where's my bucket, 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 bucket. By giving him a piece of water. See the water level filled up. He can hold a max of four. And then, piece of lava. As you can see, it automatically starts generating cobblestone that quickly. If you notice, no lava is going down, no water is going down. So, you just now made another cobble generator 
all by itself. It's infinite. It'll never stop. It'll keep going on for life. Which is pretty cool. Now, we open up the configuration tab here and we turn all these off. You take item duck, like so. I can change the output. There it goes. And as you can see, the Ignis extruder automatically on its own, with no help, can automatically start pumping the cobblestone that it generates out and shove it right into wherever you want it to go. Just that simple. As you can see, he is now making lava. Just that simple. Now, the next thing I want to do is actually want to set up our pulverizer here to run. And I can actually cheat a little bit with him. If I put him right beside um, the Ignis extruder there, I can turn all these off. And I can also set this one to an output. And as you can see, now the Igneous Extruder, not only will he fill up the Crucible, but he will also pipe or pump the pulverizer here full of cobblestone itself. And it automatically stops whenever it, you know, everything's full. When this guy can no longer hold any more cobblestone, the pulverizer can hold no more, it'll fill to a max of 64 and it'll stop. Now... We need to power this guy. Do, 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 do. I just realized I need to make one more thing. Let's see, it should be a piece of. I think it's iron, iron, and iron. With. Tin? Do I not have any tin? Again, I used all my tin. Press that hammer. Okay. Might as well make sure I have this. Of course, it's going to rain. I'll take that. No sense in me having to mine it no more. Give me a lever. you to really
You're supposed to be able just to... Why is it not working? Hmm. Crystal, glass, and iron. pieces correctly. Well, guys, um, normally there is an output mode and give it a redstone signal source like I'm trying to. And it's supposed to pump the lava out. As you can see, it's not having a problem melt, melting the cobblestone, the extreme is working. Good. Won't even take the servo. Does the center of the pipe work? Okay, shift and click with an empty hand. Well, Well, guys, I'll have to try to figure out what's going on with this and show you all next time. Um, it's issue. Um, but I'll do it by bucket right now. Take a lava, throw it in there. Another bucket of lava, put it in there. As you can see, um, lava is starting to be used. The engine should be starting to run and generate ener energy. As you can see, the pulverizer is gaining power. And it automatically starts turning cobblestone into gravel. Now, with that in place, 
Let's see if I can put this right. If I do this like that, thank you. Turn you off. I'm going to make the pop and input. Thank you. And item duck there. I should be able to say as you can see it starts to fill up with gravel. I didn't think you required power. I hope you don't require power. Let's see here. starting to work. Oh, I think he's requiring power. Okay. Let's see if we can take care of a power problem. Oops. Only have one piece of redstone left. No! Okay. Faster, faster, faster. As you can see, the pulverizer is currently losing power. We're almost up to a thousand mil buckets. I didn't think the autonomous activator needed power. I must have updated the, the packet where it needs power now, guys. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Come on, just a little bit more. There we go. Power! There we go. You can kind of see in there now. There's a little animation going. As you can see, it it put a piece into the inventory it's set for right click mode so it should be aim level it's not sneaking what's wrong Argumentation.
You're set for right click. The ar argument tab allows for module at module additions. I just how about just straight right click? Oh. That's the aiming tool, it worked right. Because all I can do is right click it, dude. You're supposed to right click it. Requires redstone flux to operate. Okay, so I gave it power. Shouldn't be sneaking. Okay. Maybe it's got to have a, a signal. See underneath, guys. There it goes. But it's not working. Why is it not working? You're supposed to just right click it. You you put a new one in for me, but you won't right click. Let's see here. Argumentation. I'll shift for details. Ten percent base. Wow, guys, um, oh, thank you, thank you, You'll place it, but you won't right click. this automated output Pretty 
be configured on both sides. Redstone control. Well, at least I got that working. Quit working now. Ah, give me that back. Well, guys, um, I'm gonna stop right here. I'm gonna do some research, um, try to figure out, you know, what's going on here, because I should be able to give this guy a redstone signal or be able to put a server servo in it to make it you know suck the lava out um, and pipe it right down here and to wherever the pipe goes which you know I could have it you know pump right into the extruder here or I could have it go into the dynamo for some reason it's not I do not understand. Um, and then this guy is supposed to, because he's on right click mode, he's supposed to automatically just right click whatever's sitting in front of him. Whether he needs power or not, shouldn't matter, but, you know. But I can click it. As soon as I break it out. He'll put in the next piece for me. But the purpose of him is for him to sit here and right click this for me and me not have to do this. Try to get some of the automation parts going here. And as you can see, he's got nine full slots, so he'll he'll fill up quite a bit here. Um, see this? Ooh. I'm gonna steal that for a minute. And um let's turn that off for a minute. What does this do? What does this do? What does this do? Automated output. Oh, that's just the output piece. This guy can't output without it. So this probably stopped as soon as I did that. Four. Zero. Pick that out. So he doesn't output without it. I give it back and he can output again. So he, the new piece is going in, so he's right clicking.
Okay, guys, I'll, like I said again, I'll do some research off screen, try to figure out what's going on here. If you think you know what's going on, um, leave a comment, let me know what's going on, um, especially if you can figure it out before I do. Um, there's two major things that, you know, is holding up my theory here is one, and you got to be able to, you know, pull the lava out of the crucible once it's made in the lava, pipe it through in and feed it over to an engine or into the extruder when I want extra lava in it or wherever I need lava. Um, that way we can continue on with what we're doing. Why'd he stop outputting? Oh. Oops. Turn off the input. Well, if anything, he'll get this guy filled up. We can figure out what's going on, guys. Um, turn it off right now. That way it'll stop eventually. He'll fill up full of gravel here. Um, so again, um, my name is Blue Star. Uh, this is the Minecraft Sky Factory 2. Yeah. Um, mod pack, guys. Um, let me know. Um, what you guys are thinking about the series um please hit the like the share the subscribe buttons um leave comments and i'll try to figure out you know what's going on because this is definitely new the argumentation piece so um i'm thinking it's one of these up in here something that i don't understand that um i've got to figure out um you know make the quick the correct piece that I need um, we'll figure it out we'll get it going I'll catch y'all next time bye for now